Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. P-Pal Picks Edition. That's right. I give you picks daily of all the NHL games. Uh, I give you my leans. Now, I do this the night before. I've been doing this the night before. Um, there's a game going on right now. Um, it's uh, Minnesota Anaheim. I had the under big time and Minnesota for small pearls. I don't know why I went Minnesota light. It's funny how when later you look at it. But anyways, we hit really well. And I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like when you go over to uh, BPAL picks, which if you comment in the comment section, I will uh, offer you some a free free for the end of the month till the end of the month. And if you hit your parlays down there, we're tabulating your parlays. Uh, somebody, I'll show you how some, some people put them here. But when you do do it, please mark down how much your parlay was worth. Not worth, but how what your odds were. So if you calculate all your uh, individual bets, you what you can do is you can go to your app and you can hit the three picks and it'll tell you on the bottom pays six point or points point six one five or pays whatever write that in there six point one five so six times your money write that in there tell me what it is and if you hit it you get points and at the end of the month this month you will get a free month on top of it and if you comment you'll get a free you get the rest of this month free. So you got a whole, almost like half the hockey season for free. And uh, I'm going to show you here anyways. I just came back, by the way, from uh, Chinky's House of Pilates. And uh, she says, hi. Hi. House of Yoga and Pilates. I apologize. I forgot about the yoga because I don't do it. No. I tried the hot yoga once. I don't know what in the world made me think that the words hot yoga was going to be enjoyable. The only time hot yoga is enjoyable is if the word instructor is after it in the sentence. Besides that, not, not really, no. Anyways, Chinky's House of Yoga, House of Yoga and Pilates, it's the best there, I said it. Tell them Perlo sent you, ask for Poon. Okay. Let's get to our, uh, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this right now. This is my actual Patreon, as you can see here. I got patrons, posts, and all of this fine stuff here. We got to change this. We really got to change this. It's not baseball season anymore, but that's okay. This is, an, uh, this is what you'll get every day. I do this for every game, and I did this for the game today. I said large pearls pick frolic, because we like to frolic here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, don't we? Yes. Do the Perlo dance. Yay. We're doing the Perlo dance because we nailed this. Capitals over Sabres in reg pays 195. Small pearls for the under at six and a half. I don't know why I went small pearls there. I'm I'm very cautious. You put whatever you want, but uh, the, the Capitals look like they were back on track against the Pens last game and are now rested and have knocked any rust off their COVID break. They had a week off, remember? The Sabres look like a team defeated before they get on the ice. They do. They look terrible. I could actually see a PL here, which it was a PL. And if you if I ever say that and when you're on Patreon and you like to gamble a little bit and juice it, take the PL because I'm usually right. But... As always, I will play it safe. The under is not my fave here, but Allmark has been a bright spot for the Sabres between the pipes, and the Sabres can't score, so I'll do it. And I don't know why it wasn't my fave after saying all that. Um, but anyways, that's the kind of fine frolic you'll get there. At, uh, let's look. Do you want to look at a couple more? Why not? Show you a couple more. No, uh, published. Here we go. I'll show you one more. Which one am I looking at here? Uh, 
Yeah, Coyotes versus Kings. View. Coyotes versus Kings under. By the way, that came in at 195. The Kings won 3-2. And I also had Kings PL, uh, which meant Kings plus one and a half because they were the dog. Again, I'm playing it safe here. If I go Kings PL, don't be afraid to go ML. I just like to get it right. So at 165 for small pearls, mostly because the Coyotes are very feisty. They could have won this game. So I took the juice and I went a little light because I went heavy on the under. That was my favorite play. I didn't, I wasn't sure why the juice was so high on the under here, meaning you know, why did you were getting a 195 for an under a lot? I found out afterwards by looking at the LA was scoring a lot of power play and they have been scoring decent amount. But you're playing against the Coyotes teams that can hold great teams to unders. And uh, LA, although they were scoring a lot, I think it's more of a beginning trend. I, I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to continue throughout the year. On paper, they probably are scoring more than they should. But um, I said Peterson will likely be in that. It ended up being quick, but the under came in. So that's the kind of stuff. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I said should be a very close game, which it was. That could really go either way, which it did pretty much go either way. And I hope for percentages to come through, and they did. So anyways, and then you can comment and all that stuff like that. I just wanted to show you some of the things we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Ministries uh, and how we uh, how that looks. But, okay, so the rest of the games, I can tell you I had the over on the Ottawa, Ottawa game. I had over, yeah, this game here, I had over on uh, Senators and Maple Leafs. Um, I leaned the Maple Leafs, but I didn't actually want to put it on PL because, you know, Ottawa has been... And also, um, Toronto was putting Hutchinson in, and he can crap the bed at any time. So I was more with the over than any kind of, and I got that right. So we got a lot of right yesterday. Um, we got this game probably correct, Minnesota Anaheim under and Minnesota ML. And uh, what else did I have here? Kings and Coyotes. I didn't get this one. This is where I lost out. I had the over here in the blues in regulation. And I had it large and medium. So the large that we won on... Oh, and Penguins I had under. Penguins and Islanders I had under for large pearls. So you can remove the large pearls and you can remove a medium. Basically, we're up about five or six five units, something like that. Pretty good day. We're up most of the time. It's the way it is over there. So I would highly recommend you get your butt over. As you can see, you get a lot of information. There's also a parlay challenge. Uh, I wonder if I can show you that real quick if you want to check it out. Uh, here we go. Go posts, published. There's the I was I got it in late today because I was really busy and I kind of forgot about it. But this is it. Uh, Tran, Simon Tran, Mikey A, Johnny Sherfley, all long time, long time uh, contributors to uh, my Patreon. Great clients. They give you their their uh, right now. Johnny Sherfley's up. And if you win, you, you keep on tabulating points with your parlays that you nail. You get a free month. You get a free month at the end of the month. So, okay, let's look at our picks for tomorrow, shall we? Odds. Here we go. Carolina, Chicago. And remember, you might look at my video from yesterday and say, "Hey, wait a second here. Things you said something different yesterday than you did on your Patreon." And I'm telling you, that's why you stay on Patreon. I am giving you free picks here the night before, before I know, I'm guessing who the goaltenders are going to be. And I don't know all the injuries and all of that, but I'm doing that for free. If you would like to get the exact picks to hit like crazy, sign yourself up. Uh, Caroline versus, Carolina versus Chicago. Uh, as far as the total is concerned, again, 
is is are they going to keep on going with uh, uh, Nadelkovic or are they going to go Reimer? I'm really not comfortable with Reimer for Carolina. He hasn't looked good. Although they gave him some rest, he can't play a lot. They gave him some rest. He could come in and probably not be too bad. See, against a Chicago team, though, whose offense has been doing very well lately, um, if Reimer's in, it's looking like Chicago will probably keep on rolling with Lankinen, who has been very tough to beat. However, I think Carolina should be able to get a few by him. Um, this has probably got to be over six uh, with Reimer in. And I'm probably going to lean Carolina, although I'm not a big fan of the juice here. This is very fady. Um, it's kind of too much of a risk to lose half your money on your bet for a Chicago team that's playing as well as they are. But I do like Carolina at home. I can't say that I like this much on regu in regulation. So do with it what you will. Maybe you like Carolina more than I do. I just think Carolina is a whole team, and after losing to Florida, they're not going to want to lose this game in Chicago. I don't see Carolina winning two losing two games in a row too often this year. So I'm going to lean Carolina. Uh, do with it what you will. Um, the juice on Chicago might be even better for the PL. However, I'm not really huge. Well, you're getting one 68, 169, 170, somewhere around there for the maybe that's the bet for value. Chicago could keep it to one goal here. Um, yeah, Chicago PL is probably the bet for the value there. Uh, Florida, Detroit. Um, Florida's plays has been playing, or sorry, Detroit's been playing really well defensively. Uh, is Flor Florida already has gone is say is has confirmed that Drigger is going to be back in the net again, which means they're going with the hot hand, and their ten million dollars starter in Bobrovsky sitting on the pine. Funny stuff. Um, Bernier or Grice? I think Grice is going to be a net. Extremely hard to score on. Florida does score a lot. Detroit doesn't score a lot. Drigger's been playing well. I'm probably going to roll the under here. I've been rolling the under with Detroit against just about everybody. This one I'm not so sure about. I wouldn't put huge on it because Florida can score. Florida can outwork just about any team. Detroit works hard. However, um, I just saw also that there's an injury issue here as well. Detroit has an injury that I right here. What was it? Detroit has another uh, Nebeshnikov. Yes. So that's more offense out of the lineup. I'm looking. I got to be looking towards the under here. Uh, what's the total? What's that paying? Under's paying good. Because Florida's scoring a lot, but Detroit is really hard to score against, especially Grice. I could see this being a 4-1 game, 3-1 game, something like that. I would lean the under for the juice on here. That's the play. Florida, ML. I would only go ML, though, I'm telling you. Uh, maybe in reg. You might want to push the in reg here. Florida should be able to beat Detroit in reg. Yeah, maybe in reg, Florida in reg. That should pay about 185, something like that. I don't have the in reg here, any in reg scores here, but or uh, payouts. That might be the play. Now we get to the games that I, Calgary Edmonton. As um, if you want, if you absolutely want to bet this, just to have a bet out there, take Edmonton, take the juice, because honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea who wins this game. The uh, both both of these teams are incredibly inconsistent, especially Edmonton. Um, at six and a half, I'm probably leaning the under here on the total. Uh, I think I saw something where these guys, the, the uh, four of their last five games, Edmonton and Calgary have played, have gone to the under. 
And that's because it becomes a very physical contest usually. Um, and, and they kind of play like they just hate to lose. They don't like, they play more like they don't want to lose rather than they want to win. Um, oh, Minnesota just scored made three, one, which is beautiful because that makes it very unlikely that it'll go to the over. Anyways. Um, yeah, I take Edmonton for the juice at two ten. I don't really like it though. Corpus Allo, eh. Markstrom, I prefer Markstrom over Corpus Allo. Mar uh, yeah, but I, honestly, I fade the side. I take the under at six and a half. Winnipeg, Vancouver. I'm going with Vancouver here. Uh, last last game that Winnipeg, Winnipeg, I'm seeing cracks in their game. Vancouver is in, relatively inconsistent, but it, it feels like they're coming out of their hole. The question is going to be, are they playing Demko or Holtby? Holtby? They may keep riding Holtby. Holtby looked incredibly confident the last game that he played. Um, as it stands either way, I think I'm going to go Vancouver. Hollabuck has not been having his best year this year. It doesn't look like he's getting another Vesna. Uh, maybe wearing down a bit. Assuming they're playing Hollabuck here. They could be playing Brassois because Brassois hasn't played in a while and Hollabuck did have a rough go recently. Um, either way, I'm going to shade to the under with the two. Yeah, Vancouver and the under, but I'm much more on the Vancouver than I am the under. I really like that juice at two. The way both of these teams are playing, Vancouver's coming out of a hole. Vancouver looks like they're falling into one. So, which good spot for the Vancouver Canucks. No significant in injuries as far as I know on this one recently, but let's take a quick look just in case. I don't want to send you off with misinformation. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, just the normal. It'd be nice for them when Hamina comes back. Uh, Winnipeg, any new ones? No, Dubois is still out. Yeah. So I like the way Vancouver's trending, so I'm going to go with Vancouver there. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I got to give today. I'll be back here tomorrow, and I'll be live tomorrow between 3 and 5 Eastern. I talk hockey. Not necessarily betting, but you can talk about it in the comment section if you want. Won't hurt my feelings none. And uh, tomorrow, I believe I'm going to have Peyton on the radio on. Possibly John. Uh, Joe. I haven't had Joe Boric on for a while. Joe, Professor Joe. Maybe all of them. You never know. Go find out because it's going to be fantastic. That's my full 42. Have a great day. Lots of love to you, K. Bye.